Hello, Pokemon trainers! Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon video on iStarly TV. I never thought, or I, I didn't think this would happen, but there's actually some final droplets of Pokemon Sun and Moon, or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news. This is probably going to be the final piece of news, but I thought that was the case last time. I mean, we're less than a month away from Sword and Shield, and they're squeezing every driplet of... I don't know, information out of these games, or I don't know, what would you say? Or, no, I'm, I'm by myself. <laughs> um, so anyways, using the Pokemon Pass app, which is something that they've had for uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, but I personally have never used it. It's an app that you can download on your phone. I'll show the information here, um, but basically you go to your, I mean, your phone's app store, download Pokemon Pass, and basically with this app, and unfortunately it looks like this is how they're going to be doing events in the future. So that's kind of, I mean, that, that kind of seems annoying. But you download the app, you go to the store that where they'll be offering this, and then you have, I think you have to scan like a QR code to get the Pokemon. And for this game, you will be able to get Shiny Solgaleo in Moon or Ultra Moon, and Shiny Lunala in Sun and Ultra Sun. So these have never been released to the public, at least in America. Um, this is brand new and like I said, it's it's kind of interesting because the, these games are pretty much near their end or pretty much past their end, I would say, but they're giving you one last kick um, to, to do this. So in Europe, this event has actually been live starting from October 1st um, and, and it will end on November 15th, which is the day that Sword and Shield release. In the United States, the event does begin today, October 21st, and from there, it, again, it expires on, um, I think for the America event, it expires on November 10th, so it actually expires a few days before the, the uh, games come out. So you can only get this in GameStop. You go to GameStop, you make sure you have the Pokemon Pass app, and then in the video game area, there should be a QR code you scan it with the app, and it gives you a serial code, not serial like Captain Crunch and Count Chocula, serial like serial murderer code, <laughs> to receive a shiny Solgaleo in Moon or Ultra Moon, or a shiny Lunala in Sun or Ultra Sun. It says you can receive up to three serial codes, so that's kind of cool. So maybe you'll get one Captain Crunch, one Fruity Pebbles, and one Honey Nut Cheerios. That's what I would choose. I'm just kidding, that sounds disgusting. Anyways, uh, so that's how you get it. And then you, you get the code and then you, you input them in the game just like you normally would, where you go to Mystery Gift in the beginning of the game, you go get via code, you type in the code, and they're yours. Shiny Solgaleo and Shiny Lunala, they look actually not that great. Um, Shiny Solgaleo is just bright red. <laughs> like, it doesn't look like much effort was put into it. Like, I could imagine a Shiny Solgaleo that's like maybe black and then it has like blue on it, that would look amazing. But unfortunately, they just wanted to get these out of there as soon as possible. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously they came up with the shiny forms a lot sooner. But anyways, this is how you can get shiny Solgaleo and shiny Lunala in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Unfortunately, of course, you know, since it's been confirmed that at least as of right now, you won't be able to transfer any of these, po or you won't be able to transfer these Pokemon to Sword and Shield. At least I don't think you would be able to. They're kind of going to be in that digital prison of your Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games collecting dust until they give you a Solgaleo or Lunala in, in the next game, who knows how many years from now. So anyways, sorry to be kind of negative about it, but anyways, I think it's cool. And I mean, I'll I'll, pr I'll definitely get them just because they're, sh they're rare and unique, but like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you if this helped you out, please leave a like. Definitely subscribe for more Pokemon Sword and Shield news. That'll be coming up very soon. And also make sure to click that little bell icon so that you can receive all of the notifications. I've never said that before, but I feel like that's something I should be saying. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you soon.